First thing first, you need to create a new file. With this thing, with 1275 and I1785, with 72 resolution, then press create. Of course, the background will not be white, so let's just change it. I will use these photos, and don't worry, I will put the link to download these images in the description. Let's first drag and drop the background photo inside of Photoshop. Press enter to accept the placement. Let's drag the layer tab to the left to have more space for the layers. Hold Ctrl and press T for transforming. Then just resize it to fit the document size. Drag the pines to make it bigger. Right click on the layer and resize the layer. Let's change the wood background perspective and make a corner. To do this, go to edit and choose perspective work. Now, draw a rectangle from the bottom half of the background photo. And draw another rectangle for the top perspective. When you did it, just press enter. Make the view smaller by holding Ctrl and pressing minus key on the keyboard. Drag the bottom right corner point to the very right and the left corner as well. When you did it, just press enter. Press Ctrl and 0 to fit the view to the window. I don't like the background color so I will add a solid color. And choose a color for the background. From the blend mode, change the blending mode to color. If you think the background is too dark or too bright, hold Ctrl and L and play with the sliders to have a satisfying brightness. Let's drag our product photo inside Photoshop. I have this photo in PNG format which means it doesn't have background. Press Ctrl and T and resize it. And if you want to rotate your photo, go to the corners, click and drag to the top or the down. Now drag the burger layer photo on the top. Let's put the background layers in a group. Select one of the layers, hold shift and select the other two. Then press Ctrl and G to put them in a group. Double click and rename the group. Click on the lock icon and unlock the layer and just delete it. Let's add shadow under the delicious burger. To do this, select the under layer, create a new layer and take the brush to. Right click somewhere and choose the brush type and the size as well. From general brushes, choose round brush with zero hardness and bigger brush size. You can adjust the brush size with left and right brackets. Have the brush set in low flow then start painting under the object. You can try painting with different flows and also different brush sizes. If you think it's too much dark you can always change the opacity from the layer options. Let's be more aligned person and name the layers. I will name it shadows. Select all of them by holding shift, then press Ctrl and G to group them. And yes, we have to rename them. Let's just import the logo. Drag and drop it inside of Photoshop. We need to write company name, so take the text tool and write your text. Align it to the right, center or left. You can choose a font type here. I will choose a bold monstrat font style. For having a wider end to adjust the fonts, from window choose character. I want this text to be all uppercase. To do this, click on these uppercases T. You can resize the text by dragging this T. Let's just change the color. You can write down something under the company name.
Again, you can resize it and change the font color. It is also possible to resize the text by pressing Ctrl and T and adjust the size this way. To put it in a right position, you can hold Ctrl and move it with arrow keys. Select the under layer, hold Alt and click on the top layer, then press Ctrl and G to group them. Let's write our main words. From here, you can play with the size. I don't want it to be all uppercase, so from the character tab, uncheck the uppercase button. As well, I want to change the font style. I'm choosing yellow font style. I will put the link to download these fonts I'm using in the description. Let's change the color. You can choose a color with eyedropper from the photo. I will choose the logo color with eyedropper. You can keep watching and when I was doing something new, I will explain that. Most of these are just a repeated process. Ok, here is a point to mention. We want to add some effects to the text to be more eye catching. So double click on the text layer and it will open blending option for you. So check the bevel and emboss, then make sure the style is inner bevel and you can set the depth, size and soften and set the light angle from air. Choose this type of glass counter. Set the highlights color to white and shadows color to black, then click OK. I will apply these effects on the other text too. Double click on the text, check the bevel and emboss, and if you want you can increase the highlights on this text. To be more eye catching, you can play with the size, highlights direction and see what looks better for you. Select the pen tool, let's add a discount text, but before that we need to put all the text in a group. With your pen tool try to create a circle, click on somewhere to add a point and drag it. It will give you a curved line. If you wanna edit the points, hold control and adjust the point. Now take the brush tool and create a new layer. Right click somewhere and choose a dry brush type as this one. Set it to a smaller brush size. Again, choose your pen tool. Right click on the path you have just made and choose the stroke path. From the tool, select brush and check the simulated pressure. Take the text tool and again write your text. Choose a font style for it. If you want to add some more space between each of the lines, this option can add it.
Now let's just add the barcode to this poster. I made this barcode. If you're curious that what is in the barcode, just scan it and see. Now you can add the mobile number and addresses for the poster. I will just speed it up. I don't think in this case you bump into any problems. But if you're not getting anything well, feel free to comment and ask me in the comment. Here, I will just duplicate the layers by holding Ctrl and J. So I need to just change the information. I can move them with holding Ctrl and arrow keys. Now I will use the pen tool and create a triangle in bottom right corner. I will just change the color to a red one. At last, I will write order now. I hope this video was helpful for you to make your product flyer and poster. Let me know if you enjoyed the video. Also make sure to subscribe to my channel and ring that bell, so you will get notification while I uploaded any new content.